This training video is about exporting points to an ASCII file. The main command for doing this, of course, is export text ASCII file. But what we want to point out here is that the command list points has some additional selection set options. And when you use the report formatter, you can tap into the variety of export options within the report formatter itself. So list points through the report formatter is a vehicle for even more flexible point exporting, at least in terms of selection sets. So let's look at the main, uh, more direct command for exporting points, which is export text ASCII file under the points pull-down. When we select that, you can format your exported points user-defined, which is most commonly used, or use some preset formats for different outputs. We'll stick with user-defined and focus on the selection set flexibility. So if we go by range of points, we can specify the range here. That's an obvious one. So you can do all or 1-1000 or 115, comma, 118, dash, 120. Uh, different uh, options there. You can pull this down and do screen points. Now when I do screen points, the range of points to write goes. So you hit OK, select your export sequence for the TXT file, and identify the file to create, and then literally select them. So I'll pick up these two and a third one over here. And it's just rectangular or classic uh, Windows selections like window polygon, crossing polygon, etc. We'll hit enter. We've out output a file, civil demo txt. And if we use notepad, we can look at that file. So we'll go to accessories, notepad, file open. There's civil demo txt. And there was, as predicted, the three points selected. Now there's another option there, points, export text ASCII file. Under the selection, a third option is screen entities. Now all this is going to do is make points at the vertices of polylines, for example, or the center of circles. So if I pick these two entities, a circle and a triangle, I'm not going to get any point that's on the screen. I'm going to get the uh, vertices or center of these selected objects, as you're about to see. So we'll go ahead and select polylines and circles. Pick this one, pick this one. We expect four outputted points in our TXT file. Let's go look at that in Notepad again. So we'll go All Programs, go to Accessories, pick on Notepad, and open Civil Demo TXT, freshly made, and sure enough, there are four points. Now, if you wanted to be able to select all the points in a radius or other methods of selecting, you would go to Points, List Points then choose the middle selection method which is area use the report formatter click on use report formatter and that that leads you into this um, flexibility found within that that uh, feature so it says specify area by polyline or circle center let's try circle and pick the circle center i'll use i could pick it if i knew where it was just to illustrate this, I'll use a CEN snap, pick there, and uh, specify radius 100 feet. And here I've moved over to the right in the report formatter the various, uh, the, the order of the t items in the TXT file that I'm looking for. And uh, to prove I've, I've accomplished this, let's just output to Excel. And there you have it, one, two, three, four, five points. And of course, you can go to uh, Report, uh, Display, and go here. 
you can um, come in and delete any aspect of the report uh, delete the upper part if you like and uh, and then you can take it out to um, a file and then you made another txt file uh, with the format fully controlled and even the selection controlled in this case by a a radius based selection and uh, an, another option here under area go to list points use the area selection option and you can uh, select by uh, a polyline uh, and had you uh, actually I got a polyline over here with lots and lots of points inside which uh, are frozen right now but it should be able to find them and we'll go to display and sure enough it found quite a few points within that polyline and again you can go over to Excel um, and uh, export there and look at the uh, list in the Excel spreadsheet and for that matter you can make a table using report table entry and here we've outputted a table now exit out and you can pick a location for the table it's a format controlled there and then here you have a very large table of coordinates um, that were exported using the report formatter and the command list points with the selection sets involving picked polylines or points with uh, radius selection. So keep in mind that when you're exporting to a txt file you can use the explicit command export text ASCII file or accomplish it with list points clicking on use the report formatter and uh, choosing a variety of selection methods.